plaintiff, Derek Murphy, says the defendant's mother is his sister. And growing up, they were often left to fend for themselves. As a result, Derek claims he turned to the streets and was in and out of jail. But he has since changed his life for the better. Derek is suing his nephew and his nephew's fiance for the balance due on a car and filing fees. Defendants Jerome Kitchen and his fiance Marquise Alexander say Derek and Jerome were estranged for years until Derek's mother, who is Jerome's grandmother, became ill. Jerome claims after his grandmother passed away, Derek became jealous of him and he's countersuing for harassment and defamation of character. Start with you. Yes, Your Honor, I just like to begin right here. Um, this is my nephew, and that's his boyfriend, Marquise. Um, Fiante. Boyfriend for kids. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Your Honor, Jerome's mom is my sister. So my mom was a housewife in the beginning until my dad left. So then she had to go back to school and go back and get a trade so she can go to work. So that just left me, my little sister, and my little brother in the home. How old were you? I was uh, 16. That's when he first went to jail. So how was so he at, at that So at 16, home? your mother had to go to work. Yeah. What was the problem? So I went out into the streets and I started hustling to try to make it ends meet. During what time of the day? all times of the day. Right. And your mother didn't work all times, did she? No, she didn't. So, right. So don't blame her working. I'm not really Because you did it when she wasn't working. Me and my brother's four boys. She, my mother worked two jobs. I was the only one that was a fool and got in trouble. The rest of them, they may have uh, experimented or messed around or overdid a little drugs or whatever the case might be, but I'm the only one that was going to juvenile in the jail. So my mother did all right working two jobs. You're saying you failed because your mother had to work one job. Now go ahead. What else you want to blame on what? your mother because she had to go to work? Anyway. His deceased, his deceased mother. Anyway, Your Honor, um, I started doing crime and I started going to jail, back and forth to jail. So therefore, that left my mom and my sister and my little brother. As I was going to- What'd the, you go to prison for? Uh, several things. You right, yeah, several okay. Things. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead, as I started man. going to the penitentiary, my sister started having kids. That's where this guy came along at. This man. <laughs> so anyway, so then- <laughs> So, so then my, she, my mom was a single mom of six, and none of her kids got in trouble. Well, she had my mother. Wow, at single mother of six. Of six. Yeah. And two of somebody else's. But see, my mom took care of her. her and you. Kids, though. And you. She was my mother. What else okay. you want to tell me about yourself so or him? His mom started having kids, and he came along. Mm -hmm. She had six? Yeah, I guess she did. That's what, what do you mean? You said. guess. You don't know? <laughs> no, I don't. I well, let's stop talking about his mother and him and his family because, as you just time. said, you don't know. Come she has you, several sir. kids. Your that other I know several. Yeah, I'm asking she, how, many. how many. You don't know. He That's why I'm many. moving to him. You he lives don't with us. know. I Go never ahead. lived with you. you sir, your wife I have her never kids. lived with you. Bye, sir. Anywho, Ever. Anywho, Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Murphy is my mother's brother. My uncle, no. My mother's brother. That's it. Mr. Murphy, like he said, um, conducted himself in a bad way. My grandmother worked hard, and he was a criminal. This whole skit of him being left in the home alone, it's fabrications. As I got older, um, my, my single mother of six raised good children. Um, my, well, my mother my, raised six my, other kids. Your, your mother's sir, kids. Who were the, the other six? Right, who were the other six kids? His, ki from? his siblings. Him and his you siblings. You just said you don't know how many kids <laughs> they have. They I told said, you. was it six? You said, I don't know. Chronic. Now suddenly you know. Chronic liar. <laughs> okay. Um, however, um, as I became an adult, um, uh, me and Mr. Murphy got a little more closer because my grandmother became ill. Uh, with my grandmother becoming ill, my mother and I left Fresno to get her, relocate her to Fresno through her recovery phase. Uh, she later on got diagnosed with terminal cancer. Oh I moved God. with her, um, and I helped start helping take care of her. Ooh, Where did you live before you moved with her? Quiet, sir. Uh, Who's her? You're you not going to be quiet? Mm -mm. You're not, who are you rolling your eyes at? <laughs> you, you've done this a lot. Because you've been in and out of the penitentiary. Yes, sir. So act like you did when you go before those other judges. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead, sir. Uh, 
with my with taking care of my grandmother, me and Derek became very close because we were the only family members in Southern California taking care of my. So when did your relationship break down? Our relationship broke down in um, around September, October 2015. My um, my grandmother um, health took a turn, a drastic turn for the worse. Suddenly, um, Derek, jealous of Jerome felt that my grandmother put, Tell me us a, of you. Yes, yeah. put me in a position of power that he she shouldn't have did because I'm not her child. You were given the power. Power, the power of, of attorney. attorney. That's made, not true. Okay. Anywho. Who was given power of attorney? Me and my sister. Okay. All so right. he's lying though. But that's when your relationship broke so down. Otherwise it was all right. It was all right. All right. Now yes. I was feeding get, him and paying Sorry, that's you enough. Let's talk about me. the car you're sewing. You don't work. For. How does he owe you for a car balance? I co-signed on a car with him and uh, his boyfriend, Marquise, wrecked the car, and they never did pay it off, and I had to okay. pay the car off. Okay. And you have what you paid, the amount you paid? Yes, sir. Sir? That's the, that's the breakdown um, of the amount that I, I paid. This is, a, this is the minute order. All right. Sir, what do you say to this? So, so um, one, I have the contract for the car. Mr. Murphy um, actually purchased the car. He's on the contract as the buyer. I'm the co-signer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Murphy and his wife allowed me to borrow a Toyota Corolla. Mm -hmm. I kept that car for a, approximately about a month. Um, I received a check from my insurance from a previous car accident. My grandmother had received a settlement from the county of Los Angeles for approximately about $400,000. My grandmother talked to my grandfather and informed my grandfather that if you, you use the money that Jerome has from his insurance, to get a car and whatever the remaining balance is, I'll cover it when I get home from the hospital. Derek intercepted, inserted himself in the situation like, oh, don't go with dad, I'll take you. When we got to the, to, I drove to Victorville in his Toyota Corolla. We went to a lot where their friend that they grew up with, at the lot, his friend tried to talk me into purchasing. Sir, I don't need to know every word. Okay, did perfect. you? Did he purchase a car so, on so your behalf? But I gave the two thousand dollars as a down payment. Derek informed me that since you are taking care of mom, when mom gets out the hospital, we'll take her the money that she's going to give dad for the car okay. to cover the balance. My grandmother never came home. He gives me a judgment saying that you all. And it has your name on there. That's why I say you all had to pay two thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars. I didn't believe that that was truthful. Okay, because Sir. just like he found me or sent it to my mom and my other aunts, why didn't he? This guy went to school with my mother. He got, his brother preaches at Sir, my church. Sir, did you let him know about the court date? Several times. You talk okay. to me personally. I, I talked to your mom. You wouldn't answer my call. So okay. my mom, my mom will prove that you didn't. I have a statement from her. Okay. Prove did he what? He did, never told any of us about a case before his case. He's lying. Let me see what your mother said. This one. The last time my mom talked to anybody was May, her own work. Derek has spread things about Jerome. There was an agreement in place after the passing of my mother to pay the car that Jerome has gotten with Derek off. Fear refused to turn over legal rights to the car that Jerome had outstanding balance. If Jerome had an outstanding balance, they never once informed me. He says that he spoke to your mother about it several times. Your mother here says he never spoke to it. That's what you're trying to prove. All right. You're saying it was a gift for him to pay the car note? Yeah, How I do I know the difference between it being a gift right here, and it being word. an obligation? By his own words, right here. Okay. That's what it is. That's emails, text face, messages. Yeah, email and he Facebook. All right, sir. Did you ever tell him that you uh, were going to pay the debt? Um, in January, it, was it January? Just let me make sure. You know yes. whether you did January, or not, sir. Ja no, I didn't talk to Derek. In January, he so called my mom. So you never texted him, sir? Was there a text between you and him? Afterwards, after the back and forth, yes. And I did any of those texts, did you say I'll pay for it? If he turned over the pink slip. That was after. On February 2016, I will pay the car note and do what I need to do, just like I've been doing. Correct. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have Thank a good you, day. Sir. You know what you just did was wrong, and for you to try to do that and lie and know you lied. Yeah, in you February, you tore up my sister. In February, you tore up my sister. 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 You tore up my
you? Just like your little sister you taking care of you. you now. My sister taking care of me. Your I take little care of my sister. sister. Your, I take care of my sister. I take care joking? of my mom.